Hey kids. So the first thing I read this morning in the Huffington Post was uh, through Al Jazeera, a report is going to come out linking Peyton Manning to human growth hormone. Apparently using it in 2011, being delivered to his wife so it didn't have his name on it, and then of course he would take the drug according to the report. Now, whether any of this is true or not, it brings me to this point. It's who gives a shit? Now I'm pro them cheating. That's right. I'm pro them entertaining me. That whether it's the flake gate entertaining us with the long drawn out story about, you know, shrunken balls. So just sit back and enjoy it. And don't blame Peyton Manning. He's given you years of entertainment, whether you like him or not. His body has been sacrificed for you. His neck ruined. Who cares if our athletes use drugs? They are in the entertainment industry. Uh, take our music industry. Thanks, Bill Hicks, for this, by the way. Um, take our music industry. If they didn't use drugs... Their music probably sucked. If you go back, look at your record collection. Look at what you got. Your best artists from Lil Wayne to, you know, cough syrup and weed to Aerosmith, cocaine and hookers. Is there hookers drugs yet? Or Beethoven. I'm sure he was huffing mercury or something. You know, the head of the evangelical church snorting coke or meth off of a male hooker's uh, testicles. Uh, that's some entertaining shit. All right. That's made me laugh. All right, drugs are entertainment. Why do you think alcohol sales are so extremely high? Why do you think humans will use things like bath salts or crystal meth? And they're vulgar, all right? Because they're entertained by them. Now, maybe in a personal setting or someone who can't handle their drugs, we need to step in, intervene, and treat it as a health issue. However, for those who can handle the drugs or for those who are doing it for our entertainment, we need to have a little bit of goddamn leeway about this and step back. Let these guys use drugs, especially in your violent sports. For God's sakes, these people could die at any time. Neck broken, spinal injuries, the concussions that do way more damage than the drugs do. So let's get it right, folks. Let's not give a damn if Peyton Manning uses HGH. The years of entertainment he gave you, regardless if he's supposed to be a poster child for you know an angelic league, doesn't matter. None of it matters. It's all bullshit. We made it up anyways. Thanks, George Carlin. Trust me, if they took away all drugs from all sports, it would start to suck just a little bit more because we're used now to a game that has drugs running through it. All right, and drugs make entertainment that much better. Now let's not talk about integrity. Oh, it's cheating. Where's the integrity? Sports doesn't have integrity, all right? It's an entertainment industry. For God's sake, football is one giant advertisement for cars, dick pills, and booze, all right? So they'll talk about integrity. Integrity is not letting your college athletes work for nothing and make billions for the university. And say, oh, it's a conflict of interest that they're paid. Bullshit. Most of them are not even there for a college education. They're, they want to be professional athletes. That's what they're going to college for. Let them be that. All right? They're not your slaves. We got rid of slavery, sort of. Minimum wage is still pretty much slavery. Hell, if you don't make at least 15 to $16 an hour, you're probably living in slavery. In this country. I was there in the 90s during baseball's home run freakout fest, and the stadiums were full. We all knew it. Barry Bonds went from being an Oompa Loompa to goddamn Incredible Hulk. Football stadiums are still full every weekend, and we know about the concussions. We know about the criminal owners. All right, the owners will still tax dollars basically by through manipulation of saying we'll move your sports team if you don't pay for some new super billion dollar stadium. They can afford it, they could pay for it themselves, but they choose to make you pay for it and then charge outrageous prices to go see their sports teams live. And most of the sports teams, let's face it, there's only four or five in any sport that are any good, the rest are just mediocre to dog shit. And then the, the, the ones who the reporters who did talk shit about how these athletes are so bad for using drugs and all this, they're still reporting on sports. ESPN's still on the fucking air, all right? They don't have any moral code to stop watching it themselves. ESPN didn't change its policy on covering sports because half the athletes in the world were on drugs. You know, my favorite game, hockey. All right, they, they're probably just now going to start testing for cocaine due to some recent issues. All right, just now. You know why? Because it didn't affect the game. You know what affected the game? Goalie pads the size of small buildings. All right, that affected the game. Recognize it's entertainment. Recognize that even if he gets busted and Peyton Manning used HGH, let's just say he did, stadiums are still going to be full. If he wins a Super Bowl, 
we're still going to celebrate it. We'll just try to diminish it or try to put an asterisk by something because we want to hide from ourselves while we're sipping our martinis, judging them for their behavior. Let's grow up a little bit. Let's fix this issue, mainly by getting over this issue. This is D. Grief saying it's okay to put drugs in your balls.